Hello, I am Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CEH Certification Program by EC Council, Module 2, Footprinting Reconnaissance Section, Trace Route Looking Glass Servers. In this section, we are going to cover locating network range, trace route analysis, tools, and looking glass servers. Trace route is a network diagnostic tool. Trace route is used to trace the path between a user and the target system on the networks. It is helpful to find out the network failures, routing loops, black holes in internet. The original trace route program was written by Van Jacobson in 1987. In Unix, Linux, macOS, the command is trace route, and in Microsoft Windows, the command is trace rt. This tool displays the path and measuring the transit delays of the packets across the hops in the network. The history of the route is recorded as the round trip times rtt of the packets received from each successive host or a hop in the route of the path. Some of the mean times in each hop is a measure of the total time spent to establish the connection. Trace route proceeds unless all the three packets sent are lost more than twice. Then the connection is lost and the route cannot be evaluated. Ping, on the other hand, only computes the final round trip times RTT from the destination point. In IPv6, the tool name has trace route 6 or trace RT6. Let us trace route example.com. This is resolving to this IP address and by default it is 30 hops max this trace route is completed in 18 hops hop 1 this is my gateway and my service provider and the backend network and it gone through the various hops in the internet service network and finally reached the destination these are the main times calculated from each hop in this trace rt is resolving to the domain names of each hop in this you see the stars RTO request timeout. So this must be some firewall in the path. Trace route with minus D switch option. It will not resolve to the domain names for each of the hops and the trace is faster. Just type trace RT and enter and you will get the usage and the options that are available. How trace route works. In Unix and Linux, trace route sends a sequence of UDP packets with the destination port numbers ranging from 33434 to 33534. In Windows, trace RT sends ICMP echo request instead of UDP packets. The time to leave TTL value is also known as hop limit, is used to determine the intermediate routers being traversed towards the destination. Trace route sends packets with TTL values that gradually increase from packet to packet. Starting from the TTL value of 1, trace route sends packets with TTL values that gradually increase from packet to packet. Starting with TTL value of 1, routers decrement TTL values of the packets by 1 and discard the packets whose TTL value has reached 0, returning the ICMP time exceeded error message. Linux trace route command is used to avoid DNS resolution use switch n like trace route space hyphen n space domain and hit enter. Looking glass server or LG server is accessed remotely for the purpose of viewing routing information. Publicly accessible looking glass servers are run by internet service providers and internet exchange points. Trace route links Traceroute.org has worldwide server information. PCH Packet Clearing House provides info based on IXPs and sorting available by cities, countries around the world. Traceroute.org provides worldwide server information. This is Traceroute.org website and this is maintained by Thomas Kernan and by country you can search. This site has information on looking glass, route servers, BZP info and BZP tools and many other important links. 
uh, let us check looking glass these are the looking glass servers worldwide these are the route servers worldwide this is important uh, bgp information and bgp tools like uh, bgp play and all uh, here and many other important links are here just explore this pch packet clearing house looking glass server this provides the routing info based on ixps by city by country these are the standard queries and it can take arguments as well let us check show ip bgp summary for this ixp these are the results so many number of routes and uh, these are the neighbors we explore this these are the important bgp tools here you explore these links and we are going to cover more about this in cisco certification courses this is route views bg play this is a java application which displays animated graphs of the routing activity of certain prefix within a specific time interval it's a graphical in nature much easier to understand how bgp updates the effect of routing of specific prefix the bg play database stores last 10 days of data provided by the route views project data archive these are some of the network tool links we are going to explore these soon bgp4.net bgp4.net is very interesting site explore the network tools links here this is bgp4.net website and these are the links some network links are given here explore them it's a good information good repository Max trace route or my trace route combines the functions of trace route and the ping programs in one network diagnostic tool. MTR probes the routers of the path by limiting the number of hops individual packets may traverse and listening to the response of their expiry. It will regularly repeat this process usually once per second and keep track of the responses of the hops along the path. We have MTR available for the Linux and Windows as well. WinMTR is available at this link. This is the link for MTR available on the GitHub. WinMTR is available on SourceForge and you can download a copy from this mirror as well. Thanks for watching. Hello, I am Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CEH Certification Program by EC Council, Module 2 Footprinting Section NS Lookup. NS Lookup is a command line tool for querying the domain name system DNS to obtain the domain name or the IP address mapping or for any other specific DNS record. To open NS Lookup in Windows, start, run, and type NS Lookup on Enter or in a command prompt type nslookup and hit enter when you are connected to the internet it will pick the server from your service provider nslookup may be used in interactive or non-interactive mode nslookup doesn't use the operating system's local dns resolver library to perform its queries nslookup working may be modified with the contents of the resolver where you can specify the sequence of servers to be used for lookup. Type help to get the help info on the NS lookup usage. We are connected to the internet and pick the server from the service provider. We type the domain name and hit enter and by using this server it results to this IPv6 IP address and IPv4 address. We can get the mail exchange records by typing set q equals to mx or type equals to mx. Give these results. 
you can query for name server by typing set q equals to ns and type the domain hit enter and it will return the name server details ns lookup is a flexible tool and powerful tool you can use a specific uh, server to be used for lookup by typing server space and server name and hit enter and you can query by typing set q equals to mx or ns or all also type equals to x and x can be any of these types thanks for watching